Hello everyone, I hope you're staying safe and well. My name's Sarah Schofield, I'm a writer predominantly of short stories and I'd really love to read a story of mine to you today that was first published in Synesthesia magazine uh, some time ago. Um, the theme was all about food and eating and uh, this particular story um, is about a, a relationship between a forager and a restaurateur or chef um, and I really hope you enjoy it. This is called Honey Fungus. Do you trust me, you say. You tie a scarf around his eyes and lead him through the autumn loaming. He stumbles on roots, brambles snag his city coat. You sit him on a stump strangled with fungi, liquid rhizomorph splitting the bark. You uncover his eyes and while you gather puffballs and junipers, he talks about Michelin stars and the celebrities he's fed. Later, he sits dumb in your kitchen as you caramelise honey fungus wedges in salty butter, shred wild garlic and smash toasted cobnuts into shards. He toys with his knife. It's safe, isn't it? He eats greenly, laying a morsel onto his tongue, his ears pricked. You can get me anything. Laser clams, mochella, sea lettuces. You smile and he loads his fork. He opens his restaurant, Honey Fungus, a month later. When he kisses you at the end of service, leaning like an oak bent in a gale, you wrap around him and lace your fingers up his spine. A year later, he's planning your nuptial feast. Fecund set pate, slabs, Venus clam broth, a mermaid caress down your throat. And you grow together and you forage and years go by. Every Wednesday, he reserves you a table. In his kitchen, he warms a courgette flower between his palms like a child's chafed hand. He lays each dish before you, pasta blisters popping flavours that sing too loudly on your palate. Toothless nettle butter and signal crayfish consomme, the colour of cowpaw. Your belly yawns for something untamed and you slink to your forage sites, chawing water mint and samphire. He rewrites the menu each month. It's about marriage of ingredients. Often these things grow by side by side, he says. Symbiosis, you say. They feed off each other. He smiles blandly and you go and stare at your age spots in the bathroom mirror. On the wall is a framed newspaper cutting with a fading photograph. Newly married, you stand together in the back garden, arms entwined, honey rictus grins. At your feet grows a nursery of fungi, tilting their shy bonnet heads at you. You turn away and stare at the light now. You press a hand to your abdomen. You forage the red top bills that multiply in his bureau. You taste the bitterness of debt in his kisses. He creaks around his kitchen, his shoulders wilted. You look around the empty restaurant tables. Seasons, he says, as if this explains everything. He needs dough urgently, like he's reviving a paling infant. The forest floor is crowded. A triumphal orchestra of sepia brass strains upwards, sucking lungfuls of detritus as you pass with your spade and your knife. You cull a few and chew the tiny creatures as you dig a wide, deep trench and plug it with spores. You squat to cut a fool's web cap. Twigs snap as he blunders towards you, foxfire effervescent in the gloaming. The air is tenderly green. Do you trust me, you say, and tighten a scarf around his eyes. Thank you for listening and stay safe and stay well.